Welcome back everyone. This week's experiment explores the differing conditions that plant seeds need in order to germinate and grow. Every species of plant on earth has slightly different conditions and requirements in order for it to grow healthily and the seeds to germinate. Some plant species grow only in freshwater conditions. Others are tolerant of salt. Others like warm temperatures or cold temperatures and some can tolerate shadowy conditions and shade. Well, in this experiment, we're going to have a little look at some of those differing conditions. The first thing you need is the seeds of a plant that's fast growing. I really recommend cress seeds. Cress grows really quickly, so it's perfect for this experiment. Then you need to decide on what conditions you're going to run in this experiment to test the requirements of those seeds. I'm going to try and germinate seeds with fresh water, with fresh water but using a dish to make shadow or shade, and last but not least, salty conditions using table salt that you can have at home. Okay, the first step you need to do is create some matrixes for the seeds to germinate on. Paper towel works really, really well. So if you fold it up and put it into your dishes, and then I recommend adding a little bit of water just so that it holds the, the tissue paper down and the seeds then can stick to it quite nice and easily. So I've got those three ready. You don't have to use dishes, by the way. You could use any type of container. You could even use uh, glass cups, if you so prefer, or Petri dishes. But having a nice open bowl like this makes it very easy to observe. Then get roughly the same quantity of seed. I'm using a teaspoon here and sprinkle those evenly onto your paper towels. It doesn't matter exactly how many seeds you, you germinate, you'll see the trends in the germination quite clearly and quite, quite easily as they start to grow. Perfect. So for my first control, I'm going to add fresh water only. So let's add a little bit of fresh water here and see if those seeds grow. Don't inundate the seeds with water, you certainly don't want them to be floating, but you do want the entire paper towel to be wet so that all of the seeds are in contact with moisture. For my second experiment, I'm going to look at how shady conditions impact seed germination. I've got this little, little dish here that I'll put on top of my bowl to see how those dark conditions impact the germination. But first, add in a little bit of water to make that paper towel sufficiently moist so that all of the seeds are in contact with some moisture. Then I'll put that dish on top and we'll see if we get any germination in dark conditions. Last but not least, I really would like to test and see if salt impacts the germination of those seeds. So get a beaker, pour in a little bit of water, add some salt. Table salt from your, your dining table at home will work absolutely fine. I'm going to put in four little spoonfuls full. It doesn't really matter the exact quantity, but just make sure you give it a good mix so that it all dissolves so that you have a nice solution of that salt to test the impact on those seeds. When the salt is dissolved, pour in a bit of that salt solution so that it definitely gets absorbed by the tissue paper. And then we'll see if salt water impacts the germination of those cress seeds. Now place your three dishes in a location that's brightly lit and warm and make sure that all three dishes have exactly the same conditions so that it's a fair test so you get a, a really good overview of the differences in germination. You have to leave them alone for about four to five days but then come back and see if there's any differences in the germination of these seeds. Join me in two weeks time to see the results of this experiment. You can do this at home and send in your results by completing the information sheet on the darwin200.com website. Send in your results over the next two weeks for a chance to win three 50 pound Amazon voucher prizes. Good luck and see you in two weeks to find out the results of this exciting experiment.